All right, hey, so uh, we're just gonna play here in the movement sample and uh, say, hey, oh look, it's me. I've got hand tracking going, and I can kind of wiggle my fingers, and I can blink, and still no tongue. I can do a little bit of that. Hi, hi, smile, wink. Hi, blinky blink. And um, I can also just put my middle finger and my uh, thumb together to swap meshes. Nice little gesture detection there. Uh, feels like these characters could use a little more stuff going on, but still, you can kind of see what's going on. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Hey. I feel like uh, in the 4.27 version, there's a little more um, detail going on. If I back up a little, it's fine. But yeah, so, you know, just kind of see a little bit of what's here. Now, it's very silly. I mean, it's cool that we're going back and forth between just a head and hands and then something with more uh, full body because what's cool about the full body version is that um, it actually does a really nice job of doing IK. Like this is actually really hard to do, and I know because I've tried to do it from scratch. The fact that it kind of is figuring out what my torso might be doing is great. And now if I look down, you'll see that my feet are basically just like going into the ground. So that's not super helpful. Like, you know, there's actually not any leg stuff happening, but the torso tracking going on is pretty good. Um, and if at any point I want to just, you know, pick up my controllers and have that be my hands, then I can get that as well. So you get both options. And then, you know, the tracking is a little bit more stable and I can put my hands up in places where the hand tracking would work. But really just that, just that torso adjustment is really hard to do. Um, it'd be great if we could do some uh, physics detection here to make sure that I'm not um, going inside my body. Oh, and here we go with the Quest Pro controllers just being sad because they do that sometimes. Um, yeah, but anyway, it's silly. We have all these different skeletons, all these different options here, and yet um, still no metahumans, still not a metahuman example. So I think, I don't know when they're going to come out with a metahuman example, if ever. <laughs> so I think I'll release my uh, dumb, dumb, janky one that does work. It's just, you know, a bucket of extra nodes in order to make it happen. But anyways, here's a quick little tour of uh, where we are with the 5.1 movement sample as is. And yeah, I mean, that part enough is pretty good. I just would love to see it all working with metahumans. Hey.